Do you need to send or sign an NDA electronically? Let me show you how with JotForm Sign. Hey JotFormers, welcome back. I'm Kimberly and I'm currently in the desktop version of my dashboard. So the first thing you want to do is go to the top left hand corner where it says my forms. We're going to change this over to my sign documents. Next, we're gonna click on the green create sign document button. And if you already have a PDF version of this NDA that you need to sign, you can always utilize the upload document option. Now, if you are wanting to send an NDA or you need to find an NDA to send to someone else, let's go ahead and head to the template section. Now for this, you can always utilize the search option up at the top, but I'm going to head over to the left-hand side. We're gonna search under contracts. Can scroll down a little bit. We have one right here, non-disclosure agreement. I'm gonna go ahead and click the use template button. Now, before I do anything or make any changes to any type of document, I always wanna take a quick scroll just to see what I'm working with. So I can see right here at the top, we have two different color fields. This lets me know that there's two different people who are going to need to sign. If we click on any of the fields, we can see right here, this orange one is me, and then the blue is going to be the receiving party. So let's go ahead and scroll all the way down to the very bottom and we see our receiving party signatures and disclosing party signatures. That's perfect. Now, if for some reason you are missing a field, you need something else added in. On the left-hand side, it is very similar to our JotForm form builder. We can just drag and drop in anything into our document. Now you can see as soon as I brought something over, our properties panel opened on the right hand side. If you wanna make any changes, you can do it there. But I don't need these, so I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of both of these fields. Now, if we head up to the settings tab, this is where we can change the name of the document if we want. If we wanna put an email message or even change that subject, we can do that. I'm gonna go ahead and put please sign ASAP. And if you have any integrations that you'd like to use, you can do that here as well. But if we head to the send tab, that is where the magic happens. So we can see me as the person who is sending this document, but we need our receiving party, the person who needs to sign our NDA. So I'm gonna go ahead and enter in them in now. And something else that you might notice is to the right of each party, we have some icons. We have a key and a message bubble. Now the key is going to allow you to give each person an individual passcode if you want. Everyone can have a different passcode. So for this, I'm just gonna do one, two, three. And the message that could potentially be letting them know, you know what, the passcode is one, two, three. Now, the great thing about this is you can always tell who has a passcode and a message because the key turns blue and it looks like there's a little notification icon on the message. Now, if we head up to options, if you want to send expiration date, you can do that, even send reminder emails, or you can allow someone else to sign it. I'm gonna go ahead and turn off the signer delegation. So let's head back to recipients. Now, if I do send a sign right now, we are both gonna get it at the same time. And that is something that I don't want. I wanna make sure that I get it first so I can pre-fill in all of my details. And whenever I'm done, my person who's signing the NDA can sign it next. In order to do that, we just have to turn on signing order right here. We can see now we have one and two but you can see right now the receiving party is getting it first. So we have to just click on these dots on the left. We can move me up to the top. Now we are good to go. So let's send to sign. Now let's head up to my email to fill in those important pieces first. So we can see here that general message where it says, please sign ASAP. So I'm gonna go ahead and review and sign document. And just for the sake of time, I'm just gonna scroll down to the bottom and just do that required field for the disclosing party. So we have our date. And we have our signature. Now our signature field is very dynamic. If you just click on the signature field, it's going to populate a signature for you. If you want to change that font, you can do that, even change the color. But if you prefer to draw your signature, you can do that as well. I'm going to X out for it to take, and then let's sign and complete and accept and send. All right, now let's head to the person who is signing this NDA's email. And here we can see the please sign ASAP, but we also have the passcode one, the private message just to me, the passcode is 123. So let's go ahead and review and sign document. And we'll put in our passcode, then validate. And again, I'm just gonna scroll down to the bottom just for the sake of time. Let's do our date and our signature. I'll go ahead and leave it just like that. Then sign and complete and accept and send. Now, before we wrap this up, I wanna take you back over to JotForm and you can see where it says Sign Builder in the top left-hand corner. We're gonna change this over to Inbox. And you can see all of these tabs across the top. We have waiting for my signature, waiting for others. We have completed, which is where our document lives because both parties have completed the document. Now, if we scroll down, we have our NDA and we can see those signatures right there, but 
if you saw, if we keep scrolling, we have another document. We have an audit trail. This allows you as the document creator to know when and where this document was and how long it took in between each step. And it's as simple as that. If you have any questions about utilizing JotForm Sign to sign an NDA electronically, let us know. And don't forget to like this video, subscribe if you want to see more videos on JotForm Sign, and turn on the bell to get notifications. I'll see you next time.